Hey Simmers! Hi everyone! Welcome to Make 2 and a special how-to tutorial video about balconies. We have previously done a video called DIY Homes Balcony Madness where we showed off some of the really crazy and interesting things you can do with balconies, but in this video we're going to actually show some step-by-step -step tutorials of things we've discovered. So we're going to start with building a very skinny room on this pool island here, right on the very edge, and if we make it two stories then we can start building balconies. And as you can see, in balcony build mode there is a yellow line all around, it extends out three blocks from the building and that's as far as we can make a balcony go. So then if we build a second building on the island, we can draw a balcony across more than the three blocks. We can draw it across six blocks between the two and that extends the balcony space even more. So basically what you've created now is a bridge in between two buildings. We can actually push the limits of balconies even further because you don't even need a balcony to touch another building as long as it's within three blocks of some structure that is the right number of floors. So for instance, second floor balcony will need a building that's two floors. You can extend the yellow space even more. So that is beyond six blocks now. So if we build a second building, we can then extend balconies even more. As you can see, we've created a space in the yellow lines where this balcony can just go basically as far as we can push. So it goes all the way out into the island like this. And then if we delete the buildings, the balcony still remains. So this balcony, we built it by making sure there were enough buildings nearby, but we didn't attach it to any buildings, and therefore the balcony is still staying in place, extended this far. Even if it was just touching on its side, it would still cause it to disappear when you got rid of the building. Yeah, so basically you want to leave the balcony unattached to any building when you extend it, because once you delete that building that it's attached to, the balcony will disappear. So while we've got this balcony here on the island, we can create stairs that go up to the balcony. And now you've basically made yourself a bridge. And just to be very clear, we're still restricted because we deleted those buildings about what we could do with any new balcony. Any new balcony can again only extend a maximum of three. So not only can you build balconies over water, you can also build balconies over other balconies. So if we build another two small buildings, and these are going to be on the third floor because the original balcony is on the second floor, There you go, we've created a bridge across another balcony. Can we do a staircase between this new balcony and the one below?
And you can even create a staircase connection between the balcony below and the balcony on top. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. So hopefully that's been clear and helps you in your design for balconies about what you can achieve to make these cool walkways. And I think in our towns, we both have a walkway extending onto a little island we have in our swimming pools. Yeah. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to our channel. Please be sure to check our main channel page because we've also got tons of other Sims Free Play content like other how-tos, house tours, let's plays, and let's builds. Thanks for watching.